what exactly constitutes a valve train, how valve timing works, and how it can be used to enhance not just performance, but also efficiency. Without a valve system, the entire concept of an internal combustion engine simply wouldn't work. An engine cylinders need intake valves that open to pull air in and exhaust valves that open to push the exhaust gases out, effectively inhaling and exhaling with each cycle. These valves are opened and closed by a component called a camshaft. By aligning the camshaft's lopsided lobes with the valves, it can push against them as the camshaft turns, opening each one with every rotation. And since this camshaft is connected to the crankshaft, the valves stay in time with the rest of the engine, regardless of RPM. Valve train design can vary in a few common ways. How many valves there are, how many camshafts operate them, and where the components are located. First, most engines nowadays use two valves on the intake side and two valves for the exhaust, making for four per cylinder. Next, some vehicles use a single camshaft to manage both intake and exhaust valves, while others use a dual camshaft layout with one for each side. Finally, while most modern vehicles have the camshafts mounted above the valves to simply control them directly, some also place the camshaft below the valves, in the block, and instead use a system of push rods and rocker arms to actuate the overhead valves. So that's a brief look at the valve train design of an internal combustion engine. 